like brother said today morning you will take home one verse but last retreat same time jan i took two verses the first one when i entered this retreat was father forgive me forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and then psalm 46 verse 10 be still and know that i am god these are the two things i carried home i was thinking like so when you come to divine you know you get that healing and all that but the day when i stepped out of divine 365 days i can tell testimony from 2019 till date i can give you testimonies but out of that i can give you three the first thing is my clinic i have a dental clinic in pondicherry i'm a dentist i'm a maxillofacial surgeon and uh, i started my clinic practice on 2017 and everybody said in pondi there are around 220 dentists for a small town 200 dentists so i started my practice with the hope that god will help me and 2018 nothing turned up and 2019 i came to this retreat and i told lord uh, should i continue or not then this verse came be still know that i am god and then right now today i have around 600 patients in my clinic within one year so praise god and one more thing one more testimony is the most important thing which i wanted to say i am a surgeon by profession a maxillofacial surgeon i deal with accident cases of the face so one day one girl 15 year old girl wanted to commit suicide and she fell from the second floor of a balcony and injured her face and she got her lower jaw fractured and the lower jaw was fractured in such a way the joint bone was inside the tissue inside the tissue meaning in medical terms nobody will touch the case to revive that piece out so my chief and i decided and every time here when i was in divine retreat brother milton came and spoke about prayer he said when you're keeping someone in prayer keep their name in prayer i'll still know the name of the patient the patient name is hemavadi she's 15 years old and she saturday 8:30 december uh, 7th we went to the operation the- theater me and my chief two hours we were struggling we were struggling 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 and then at last my chief said it's done we can't remove the piece and he said she my chief said don't we can't remove that small piece which is stuck you please leave we'll do the suturing and come out but i said no i will try and then my index finger usually this is the place which we open this is a small incision like around 5 cent- 3 cm only is the incision which we make below the ear 3 cm okay so i left my index finger and this is one prayer which my mother used to teach yesu christuvin ratham jayam so by the precious blood of jesus the blood has to drop on that patient i was praying 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 100 times and the piece touched my glove in a second and i didn't know my finger went numb totally numb and the only instrument which i can take out that piece is my finger i can't use any instrument and then i was running around running around by the time that i would say 200 time i was reciting that prayer it caught my hand and i removed that piece i also have the photograph also for proof <laughs> so that is one and the last one which i want to finish uh, right now saying like uh, last uh, november uh, october me and my wife like we were planning to conceive so that time what happened uh, my mother my mother by profession is a gynecologist she's in 35 years of practice in pondi so she was telling like okay we proceed with the treatment and all that so treatment all went the baby didn't form we were not sad we said okay if the god's plan and then we will see and my mummy was shocked seeing my wife's uterus saying that there is lot of pcod senses so this can't be treated with medicine so we have to take her for laparoscopic surgery under general anesthesia and my wife is so allergic to so many medications so i was praying for one week uh in in the holy mass i was praying every day in the holy mass that god if it is your will should we go for the surgery but in my thought i was doubting like if i go for the surgery what will happen so next day what happened i told my mom just up just two days before the surgery i asked my mom mom can you please take one more scan and she refused but she said okay at least you are asking we'll take then we took the scan and then the uterus was normal praise the lord hallelujah we hallelujah. we were shocked we were literally shocked and that time i remembered one verse when god the father says not a bone shall be broken from my son 
like that not even a scalpel should touch my daughter that was the belief which i had at that time thank you so much